Hello everyone and welcome to my new video and what is this video about? Well, the question is, what does raw sound like in a feedback loop? There's only one way to find out. We're going to have to make a feedback loop and we're going to put raw in it and we're going to get it to raw back into itself and see what happens. Could be a total disaster or it could be the beginning of something awesome. I don't know, but we're going to find out. A couple of things we're going to need to do first. Let's go to our main channel, put a limiter on there. This is very important you don't do that, you're going to kill everyone. So let's go to our return track and rename it raw. I'm going to go down here, right click the send and go enable all sends. This will enable me to send the send back into itself and create total carnage with raw. So let's put raw on the return track and we're going to need something to kind of excite it a little bit, give it a little tickle so that it'll start roaring. And we're going to do that with the vinyl distortion. I'm going to put the vinyl distortion. That's the vocoder. <laughs> I'm going to put the vinyl distortion in here. And I'm going to turn up the volume and turn the density down to one, maybe even 0.1. And then I'm going to get a gate and I'm going to put the gate in here. And I'm going to uh, pull everything down here and bring the threshold down so it's just letting through some little things like that. Right, let's turn the compressor up and feed this back, see what happens. Wow, I'm already very scared. Ah, right, okay. Wow. Hello. Okay, the gate is now effectively useless. <laughs> let's get rid of that. Wow. All right. Let's ping this open. Woo. Okay, that is very loud. Let's turn that down there. Right, so we've created a feedback loop with raw. Interesting. All right, let's start modulating this. So, uh, where are. Right, let's modulate the bias. Shape of one bias with LFO one, maybe. All right, let's hit resample. Yeah, tasty. Let's go back in here. Do the frequency with LFO two, maybe. Let's see if we can find that there. Okay. Wow. Uh, what? <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> okay, let's go to multiband. Oh my goodness me. Make sure your compressor's up. Wow. All right, let's add some noise to the frequency of the mid-range. So where's that? There. Okay, let's add the noise. Let's turn that to free. This is madness. Different... Um, shaper models here. All right, let's see if we can find the LFO. I mean, if I can just find it through this tiny little slot here. This is like a like a peephole into the <laughs> into the brow. Right, okay, let's go. Oh, let's just do command F L F O. There we go. Let's bring this in. And let's um set this to random. Oh, some different ones. What's stray? Interesting. Glider. All right, I want random though. Let's map random to the shaper on. That worked. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Ah, uh, okay. We can't do that. Never mind, eh? We'll leave it there though. Let's try some different. I love these waveforms. Very satisfying. Okay, let's bring our LFO speeds down a little bit. Or up. Yeah. Yeah, 
there. This is tasty. I'm having fun. All right, let's see if we can add this to our envelope follower. Where would that be then? Hmm, I'm a little struggling a little bit to uh, know where to find my destination. Okay, here we go. All right, let's try it with this weird delay business. Goodness me. Okay, this is it. Solo button there for the envelope. I wonder what that's all about. All right, how much have I recorded? A lot of crap. It sounds like it's sometimes it's roaring and sometimes it's whimpering a little bit. Oh, let's try pre-filtering. Oh, goodness me. Yeah. This is all just getting pretty much into straight feedback nonsense now. Like, um, I feel like it's trying to communicate with me. I'm not really too sure. I think it's saying in some strange language, you'll never make it as an artist. No one likes this kind of free jazz noise crap. Go back to your covers band. That's where the real money is. Oh! I've completely forgotten everything I was doing. I've just gone into a strange trance. does indeed go nuts and now i've got this awful crackling okay right there we go so what do we have here a lot of stuff maybe there's some good samples in there i don't know but uh 
that was kind of interesting. Let's have a listen to it. And this is a pretty good kind of rumbling. I guess when maybe one thing we could do is sort of take like, take like some of this. That's still going. Let's turn that off. We could take like some of this. Maybe let's just get this bit. Let's listen to this bit here. So, oh my goodness me. Yeah, let's maybe like slice this to sampler and then see what we have. We've got all these transienty bits. And then let's maybe um, pull the grid down, quantize them. Ooh, okay. Let's get them all on the same grid. Uh, why won't they go there? All right, we'll go here then. All right. And then um, how many bars is this? Four bars. All right, let's legato those and then see what happens if we like arpeggiate them in a random one. Okay, let's go up to 140. Um, it's interesting. Oh, that's a very interesting uh, percussion thing, I suppose. these velocities here. Let's pull the voices down to four. Yeah, that was interesting. Let's see what other bits there are. I mean, it's really, some of it's awful. I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's go slice to this one here. And then um, I wonder if I could just like copy that over there. Well, we've made like an interesting little percussion loop. I mean, <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, that was interesting. Well, well, let's go back to that start there, that kind of nasty growl and. Maybe we can find like a really small part of this. Yeah, that let's just put that in in wavetable and see. Oh, let's clear our um, clear our search. Put this into wavetable. I'll take a copy of this here and I'll crop that and drag that into wavetable. Are you gonna let me do that? Yeah, there we go. And I don't have a keyboard. Right, let's turn the push on. than everything else. Maybe there's like a different part. Let's um, find one of those like squealy bits or something or just jump some. Wow. That. All right. 
let's let's uh, crop that, drop that into into wavetable. Well, let's make a copy of wavetable and drag this one into. Ah, oh, why do I do that here? Yeah. Well, that's nice. We used uh, raw and a feedback loop to make a, some wavetable stuff. on mono note bend um pitch oh no what the guy oh, i don't really know what i'm doing there we go Very good. All right, I'm zoning out. I'm, that's it. I'm done. So there you go. That's what can happen if you can put raw in a feedback loop and then you can maybe crop some bits out and make wavetables out of it. Wasn't that fun? I'm going to go put this on my Patreon now. See you next time. Bye.